Okay, welcome to another video. This video is going to be on our new tractor, the John Deere 7810. So, right before hay season, I was getting all the tractors ready and changing all the oils in them. And I was working on the 4440, which is what we've been using as our baler tractor. And I pulled the plug to drain the oil, and I got just a little bit of uh, antifreeze out of there. So, it was just a little bit, probably three soda caps full was all that came out. So, and this was like a couple weeks before it was time to make hay. So, I had to figure out something. Either hurry up and get the tractor fixed or find something else. So, we ran across this 7810 for sale. And it also came with a John Deere 10 foot brush hog. So, I'll show that to you too. But, so we ended up buying this tractor to use as our baler tractor. And then our 4440 we're going to fix. And here later on, once we have some more time. But we're going to, we use this tractor already to bail with. So, the, those videos will be coming later. But this video is going to show just the tractor itself. And I'll kind of talk about it a little bit. And then, uh... I made a new mount for it for the baler monitor. It's nothing fancy, just something uh, simple that will work good. And because eventually we're going to go back to bailing with the 4440 instead of this tractor once we get it back going. And then this at the end of this video, I'll also have me brush hogging a little bit with this tractor before that was the first that we had actually ever used it. Okay, so a little bit of information on the 7810. It was built from 1997 to 2003. This one here happens to be a 1997 model. They have 175 engine horsepower and 150 PTO horsepower. And this one's powered by the 8.1 liter and this one has the full power shift and it's a 19 speed these were also you could get them in the uh, partial power or like the power quad this one here weighs right over 20,000 pounds with fluid it's got fluid in all the tires so probably eventually I'll get the fluid out of the tires because if you look and you'll see it in some of the videos that it's they've been leaking some of the fluid and the rims are starting to get rust on them. Right now they just got surface rust on them so I'd like to get that fluid sucked out of there and uh, get, the, get the rims to where they're not going to rot away on me. Okay so this is a view with the side panel off of the motor and again like I said this is the 8.1 liter and the good thing about these, these are still mechanical so you still got mechanical uh, injection pump and I believe it also has a mechanical lift pump but I'm not seeing it at the moment but this is all mechanical there's no computer controlling the engine and uh, so I like that and it's also pre all the emissions and everything so that's a good thing on these so one thing on these tractors, if uh, you're looking to buy one or anything like that, they have a muffler up in here. So there's the turbo, and it comes back a, uh, a different piece of pipe than this one, and into a muffler that sets back in there. And what happens is, is those, they start leaking and or the muffler goes bad or it leaks at the flange and then you're blowing all that exhaust right up underneath the dash which there is the electronic dash in these tractors so a lot of times they'll burn that out and then eventually it'll catch it on fire so this one here has been converted over to a full straight pipe so it comes out the back of the turbo into this pipe which is I believe a custom made pipe and then it comes back down and into uh, a the flange and then into another piece of pipe with a flex pipe and then it comes out here comes across into that piece of pipe and then up the up the stack okay then from the back of the tractor it's got force three point and then it has 540 or a thousand 
So which is nice because a, a lot of times the bigger tractors, especially in the older series, only had the thousand shafts. So this has both. This one has a dual set of hydraulics, which I believe it was optional on these tractors to have a third set. This one here only has two. And this one has the hookups for electrics and all that on there too. Okay, so now up in the cab, this is the dash, so it has mechanical gauges here and here, and then it has a, the digital gauge there in the middle. This is the view from the seat. You have your other controls there on the wheel, your lights, windshield wipers, horn. So then there's where I ended up putting the baler monitor. And then this one here has a backup camera that someone had put on. I believe it's an A&I backup camera. It has a radio in it. And here's the control. All the controls. So throttle and then the full power shift. So it has the 19 speed. And then you have your two remotes, and then here's where if you had your optional third, your other handle would be there. And then your controls for your three-point arms, and your PTO, and your air and heat. And then the seat on this, it also has a air rod seat, so it's got the switch on the side for to pump it up and down. Okay, so this is the brush hog. It's a John Deere HX10, it's a, so it's a 10 footer, and it's a pretty heavy brush hog. It's made with heavy gauge steel, and it's got heavy duty gearboxes on it. And so, like I said, there's a video, there's clips in this video that shows me using this brush hog and a, a pasture off, just knocking the tops off to after the cows have been in there.
Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for some upcoming hay baling videos.